What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a 2010 Duramax here um, with the LMM and today we're going to be installing a five position switch um, that's going to allow you to switch back and forth between your tunes. Um, currently right now my truck is tuned with a full five inch exhaust all the way from the down point back um, and it's kind of stuck in the fifth tune so we're going to be changing that here today. First I'm going to make sure my switch works. Um, what you're going to want to do here is change it to 1000 ohms. Um, I'm just going to use these alligator clips to hold them for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, you want to test resistance. Now with uh, your first tune, it shouldn't be the highest resistance like we got here. I'll move the camera so you guys can see this. Um, and then the higher the tune, and the hotter the tune, it should be lowering your resistance. So that is tune 3 and 4. In five, so it looks like the switch works just fine, um, and you want to double check that before you throw it in there, um, just in case there's any issues uh, with your switch before you even get started. Next, you want to find a spot where you're going to mount your switch. Um, I'm going to try to mine mount right here. Um, first off, I'm going to take this dash right here just to make sure it fits right. Um, I think that looks really nice and clean. So let me try to do that. To take this part of your dash off, there's two Phillips head screws here, one here, and one right over here, and then there's a 10 millimeter bolt here. Take that off real quick. So I was able to drill this hole perfectly. Um, I actually ended up having to use it with just my hand. Um, it takes a 3 8 drill bit um, for you guys. We'll continue on. Next we're going to take the top part of the switch off. There's two set screws in here that just take a, an Allen wrench, uh, which they've supplied. Just pull it off. Um, remember where the flat spot is on your thing. Um, mine was sitting in here just like this. <clears throat> then you want to take this knot off. This is a half inch. And the lock washer. Make sure you don't move this. Um, this stops it at five positions. And we'll go here and mount it. And just like that, we got it in. Um, looks really good. I like it. Love the way it looks. Let's move on. All right. So the best way I've found to do this is, is he's got ratcheting locks on him here, right here. Um, if you take the bottom one off first. It makes it a little bit easier for you to get that top one out. Okay, and I'll see if I can get a good angle of this. Just prize up like that. And then just fight it through all your wiring. Next, we're going to pop this clip off right here. If you got a small screwdriver, it just slides right in there. Pops right off. Uh, you go to the other side and do the same thing. This comes right off like that. Alright, so I cut this factory zip tie that was right here. Um, next you want to take out this purple thing. Um, this is all your pins that, that locks them all into place. Put that in a place we don't want to lose. Alright, so the ground wire goes to pin number 54 and the red wire goes to pin number 46. Now if you actually look at this, let's see if I can get a good shot of this right here. There are 24 pins in each row. Um, and there's two rows, and they get separated by a center line, and then two more rows. Um, so when you're looking at it, we'll, uh, we'll put the ground in first. What you're going to want to do, since this truck is pretty old, 
It's got a lot of miles on it. Let's see if I can figure out a 54. It's on the other side of this purple one. So you want to count six pins in in the middle for pin number 54. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's kinney quarter to that. Now you have to make sure that this is going in the right way. Um, as you can see, there's two different, uh, or there's three different, four different sides to it. Um, one has a locking side. The other ones are all smooth. So you want the locking side facing the middle going into pin 54. Like I didn't get the wires all out of my way. All right, so once it's in, it'll be kind of difficult to pull, so just give it a tug on it. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is plug in the other wire. That's gonna be on position 46. Um, if you LM, LBZ guys are in here, uh, it's gonna be right next to this wire. It's gonna be the gray one. Um, for LMMs, it's right next to this tan wire. And then you want the locking tab facing the inside. You'll hear it click again. Once again, just give it a nice little tug, make sure it's in there. Then you want to put your purple locking pin back in. Um, notice how it slides in pretty easy. Uh, if you have difficulties getting it in, um, one of your pins aren't lined up correctly. All right, next we're going to put the zip tie back in. Um, we'll use this white one. white one. This should work. Make sure all my wires are tight together. And then the easiest way to put this back on is to make sure it's open. Make sure you don't have any of your wires clipped on either side. Just clips in like that. Slide this back into place. Just like so, we'll put the bottom one back in. Just like so. Alright guys, that concludes my video. Um, I really like the install. It went really well. It's very clean. Um, almost looks factory to the truck. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. i got much more content to come posting up on the channel. Thanks. Bye.